Hey guys, so I'm checking in. Happy Monday, and I'm going to go over your first assignment for the week. So um, what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to give you a small assignment today and a small assignment Wednesday, and they're each going to be worth 10 points, so that'll be 20 for the week, and then on Friday when you do your check-in, you get your five points too, so 25 in total for the week. Um, I probably will change it up every couple weeks and do something like this. Like next week, I'll have a question for you on Monday, and then an assignment post on Wednesday so that you know you have extra little things that you're getting more credit for too. Okay, so your goal today is to try and find to take two pictures of pattern or texture. So just two in total. It could be one pattern, one texture. It could be two pattern, two texture. Um, instead, it's up to you how you want to do this. But, you know, in total, it's 10 points. So each picture is worth five points. Okay, it's two pictures. That's all. All right, so um, if you do have questions about that or questions about, like, the format for this week, there's a Zoom meeting at 1030, so hop on if you want to talk or if you just want to talk and catch up if you feel like, you know, you just want to say, hey, I'm perfectly fine with that, too, and I, I like it because I miss you guys. So what I'm going to show you guys now are some of my examples that I have um, for pattern and texture. Now, this, to me, is both pattern and texture because not only are the clouds having texture, but you have the rep kind of, like, the texture in the metal and like in the framework of the Brooklyn Bridge. I took this like a year and a half ago, I guess almost two years ago, but it also has pattern and repetition because of the lines going backwards. I have a lot of pictures up, I apologize. <laughs> Same thing with this one and just editing it in black and white gives more of that pattern, more of that texture coming out. Like, I don't even know why this just has always screamed texture to me, probably because of the wire, like the barbed wire that's there. Okay, the next one, moving on. <laughs> don't mind me as I freeze on the side there this can also um represent pattern because I have two buildings and the way that I captured the windows going up and this is my signature selfie style I think I told you guys that I've done that that's just the way I am with my pictures but the way I just captured myself with the building behind myself it, you could even do this like realistically with the size of your house if you think about it you could look at do you have brick for a house like my house is brick so I could essentially take pictures of the brick that are out there do you have like the paneling because even then if you just focus on that one section that's going to also create pattern and texture with it then I have some just generic examples to show you what I'm done same thing this is from Germany this is still a pattern because of the repetitiveness of the bricks here as well as the memorial this is the memorial for the murdered Jews of Europe in Berlin it was a very powerful place and I wanted to capture that power within that image so that's why I'm saying think about what you're capturing too um, it meant something to me to capture this and to find a way to make it very powerful I actually published some of my images from this um, from when I went to Germany on a Wanderlust website to kind of show the meaning behind how you can capture things when there is like such, you know, history behind it. I always try to think of how you can relate things and make things not only like just a composition, but how you can tell a story with them. And then this one, I see texture in the clouds. And even if you just have yourself in there, but you have the clouds as the main focus in this, that makes it a little bit more um, powerful and the composition a little bit more interesting. Okay. Same thing with this. This was also in Berlin. This was um, underneath in this image. And I picked this one because I always like to give you guys stories too. With this, um, they had burned a lot of books. I'm sure you've talked about that in English. At least I hope so. Or maybe you will in the future. They burned a lot of books during World War II. And this was the hidden library. And this is like in memorial and in representation of it. And so I captured the reflection of the people that were on our tour group at the time. But you can see the texture on the ground. You can see the texture from the library underneath. And it's just very interesting the way like that I tried to capture this and this was my phone this was not with my camera because I was really nervous about bringing my camera to Europe because it's big you, you've seen my Canon it's big and it's heavy and it would have been a lot to carry around so I just brought my phone and these are like all phone pictures so you're definitely capable of coming up with very creative things this way Okay, on this last one, um, where'd it go for your pattern and texture? You can see something as simple as like water bottles, something as simple as this is like the roof of something, okay, rocks, if you're going outside. You could get the grass, you could stand above a pa like an actual plant and, you know, show something. You could get the texture of a leaf, okay, if you're up close in portrait mode or something like that. So think about those kinds of things. Too. And if you like look, not nature pattern texture photography, you're, you're bound to find it somewhere. Okay. So that's why I tried to make it a little bit easier for you guys for this day. And then um, Wednesdays will be also two images. So four images for the week, not a lot. 
If you guys have questions, let me know. Come to the Zoom meeting tomorrow at 1030 if you do. That way I can answer any questions that you may have. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks.